are three cheap keyboards and these are three cheap mouses. Today, I'm trying each of them to see how good they are and to see if you can still be good at Fortnite without spending hundreds of dollars on equipment or controller players, which is usually what I play on. The more expensive controllers have the better features. They have things like back paddles, instant press triggers, and grips on them. And all of these features legitimately give you an advantage. But for mouse and keyboard, to me, it all seems the same. As long as a mouse has side buttons and neither the keyboard or mouse have any added delay, I don't see a big difference between, say, this, a $10 mouse, and this, a $100 mouse. But that's what we're gonna find out in this video. And I know I always like to have a lot of fun with my videos, but to get real for a second, I wanna tell you all about BetterHelp, because they're sponsoring this part of the video, and I know everyone is struggling with something. Whether that's going through something at school, a big life decision, family issues, there's a million different things that could be weighing you down. And one of the best ways to get through these times is to talk to someone. I've actually never tried therapy until just these past few weeks with BetterHelp, and it's crazy to me how helpful talking with a professional can be. And thankfully, finding a professional has never been as easy as it is today with BetterHelp, which connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. The best part, in my opinion, is that you can do it all from your phone or computer, and you can talk to your therapist through phone calls, video chats, or even messages. Messaging. Whatever way makes you feel most comfortable, and that's a game changer to me because some of these conversations are uncomfortable, but they're important to have. So messaging for me has been huge. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you, all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash carter2k or choose carter2k during sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. It's always an important conversation to have, but now let's hop back into the action. So let's ditch the expensive stuff and start with the cheapest keyboard and mouse combo I have. The Skyline keyboard that costs $10 and the Zoo Lang mouse that you can literally buy for 50 cents. So both of these actually came with RGB and fully white options. So aesthetics alone, not bad, but let's actually play. Oh, I think I already found the first fault. <laughs> this is like a high quality mouse pad and this mouse just does not slide across it. Or at least when you try to go fast, it doesn't. But it looks like if you wanted to play a slow sense, that would work. The only issue is the entire point of keyboard and mouse is to be able to flick, <laughs> like, bro. But mouse aside, this keyboard feels good. So it looks like I'm gonna have to play on like a really high DPI to even be able to do anything with this mouse. And I guess once you do that, if you can get used to it, like, kind of works. On each cheap keyboard and mouse combo, I'm going to play one round of 1v1 build fights. And I'm going to play one round of 1v1 box fights. And this should tell me everything that I need to know. So we're going in. This is the build fight. All I need to focus on is small mouse movements here. Oh my god, I actually won. Wait, okay, we gotta go to the box fight. And this is usually where keyboard and mouse players shine, so let's see if I can do something. Yeah, and here you're supposed to be more flicky, and you just can't do that on this mouse. That's the biggest issue. Crack? Okay, I'm about to get a shot on him. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Right now. Let's go, and I won the box fight. So for our first cheapest combo, the $10 keyboard, the 50 cent mouse, the mouse honestly sucks. Like, you not being able to flick on mouse and keyboard, that ruins the whole point of even playing mouse and keyboard. But the actual keyboard itself feels good. It sounds kind of cool. It's all clicky. And honestly, it looks really clean. It's all white. It has RGB. And the keyboard for $10 is definitely a win. But now we're upgrading a little bit here. The first combo costs $10 total. And now this is the $45 Red Dragon keyboard. And this 
This is the $20 Razer mouse. Oh, and just instantly, the mouse feels so much smoother. The difference between the 50 cent mouse to this is crazy. The keyboard though, I mean, it definitely looks more expensive. You have the rounded edges, there's like a color shift in the keycap. It seems like it'd be nicer to type on, but the sound is actually a lot less clicky, which might have just been the switches that I selected. Honestly, all first impression, the mouse is like obviously a hundred times better. It's actually usable. But the keyboard, strictly for gaming purposes, doesn't seem all that much better. However, that might change when I actually go in 1v1 people. And first up, we have the build file. Let's go. We're on the second stage of the cheapest keyboard mouse. This guy actually seems pretty good, but he fell. There's some 90s. Get up here. Crack him. Look at that flick. That's why you need a real mouse. And now we have the box fight. Yo, this guy's playing so boring. 33. Bro, what is this lighting on me right now? 103. I missed. There it is. So look, if I was on a budget wanting to learn mouse and keyboard, I think this mouse for sure is where I'd start. We're looking at $20 here, and this is a good keyboard if you're gonna use it for like school, like writing papers or something as well. But if we're just looking to game, I genuinely think this feels like a better gaming keyboard. Like this combo here, the $10 keyboard and the $20 mouse, this is a setup that you could legitimately get pretty good on. But for the final cheap option, the $100 Akko keyboard and the $30 $30 attack shark mouse and this may not be considered a cheap keyboard But most of the keyboards that pros use are literally double the price of this So it's still not even really close to an expensive one. right off the bat though You can see how much brighter the RGB is compared to every other keyboard so far And you'll notice once we get to $30 on the mouse It's actually wireless and this thing just slides the bottom is so smooth even that mouse difference is pretty noticeable It's wireless. It's smaller and it's a lot lighter than the other one And all of those things play a pretty significant role when it comes to game. The keyboard isn't necessarily clicky, but I actually really like the way that it sounds. And one thing you'll definitely start to notice is once you start getting up in price, the amount of extra accessories you get is absurd. Which that's cool and all, accessories are always nice, but you still want the products to actually be worth the money. So let's go get the 1v1s in. Okay, now we got the $100 keyboard, the $30 wireless mouse, in the 1v1 build fight and this guy actually looks pretty good so let's try not to choke here crank some 90s get up here 99 oh look at that bro it didn't even do damage to me and the box fight I think we traded pretty heavy right there. I hit him one, I hit him a hundred. 128, what a shot, bro. Oh, and I still want it, bro. I didn't even see him. Dude, mouse and keyboard in box fights is so overpowered. So out of all the keyboards that I tried in this video, I would say this keyboard feels the best, which I mean, it's a hundred dollars, so it makes sense. But to be completely honest, compared to the other two, this doesn't feel that much better. It feels the best, but it doesn't feel like it's worth $90 more than the first one. And this is also the mouse that feels the best out of the three that I tried in this video. But the mouse is only $30, so for how much it costs to upgrade to this, it's definitely worth the price. Honestly, every single peripheral I used in this video is, like, decent, except for that first mouse. That is just, like, impossible to play on. And I think what I've kind of gathered from this is that you can get good on literally almost any mouse and keyboard, but the more expensive ones are going to feel a little bit better to play on. But I think using a a cheap gaming keyboard in a cheap gaming mouse is definitely valid. So as always, subscribe, like, and thank you so much for watching.